This motherfucker need to know better than leave his camera out with me around. You know I like a camera. What's up, baby? <laughs> and the camera loves me. <laughs> What's happening guys? So it seems like this muscle memory series is about to come to an end because things are getting pretty close and in fact my arms are officially back to where they were prior to my surgery. So what is this? Week 6? The very beginning of week 6? So 6 weeks in, I am back up to 16 and an eighth inches on my arms which is exactly where I was where I left off. So I am there in that regards and my legs are close. They're only about a quarter of an inch off now. They were uh, 23.75 and I started off at 24 so really close you know I do in all fairness I did increase my frequency a little bit with my arm training so that probably has part to do with why that's farther ahead than my legs are and I'm actually squatting one less day per week than I was previously with the same amount of hypertrophy work so that would probably explain why one has done better than the other but obviously it's really close and hopefully by next week I'll be back already so 11 weeks off six seven ish weeks is what it's looking like to kind of get back so there it is. Muscle memory is real. It happens very fast and it's a wonderful and beautiful thing. Um, I don't know. I'll probably do one more of these at least just depending on how next week goes and, and we'll go from there. But I'm not stopping there. I, you know, I, I want to keep getting bigger and better and stronger and all that good stuff. So I'm going to keep on pushing. And like I, I mentioned previously, I am going to go through a gaining phase here. So I want to continue to put on some size and uh, yeah. In terms of my powerlifting training, things are going pretty well. I can't lie, I'm a little bit bored. Just, I mean, I'm doing nines and sevens every single week with my squats and bench, and you know, it's just super easy. There's there's really no challenge to it. I've got plenty in the tank all the time, and it's just a little bit boring, but I gotta realize that that's gonna change soon, and I just need to appreciate how easy the progress is right now because that's going to change, and you know, I think back to times when I was deep into an intensity block and hitting overreaching pretty hard and, and how that felt, so <laughs> I gotta kind of appreciate this time at the same time, but um, sticking with it for a while and then, you know, I was talking to Jake and probably in my next block will probably increase my frequency back up to three times per week on squat and bench. So that'll be coming. But for now, I'm just kind of staying on that simple progression and, and going from there. Uh, in other news, my, my shoulders are doing way, way, way better. So I've been doing PT now for, oh gosh, what's it been? About the same amount of time, I guess, five or six weeks and it's just feeling way better. So that's the good news. My hip, I'm going to be kind of tackling that after we're completely done rehabilitating my shoulder and getting things where that's supposed to be. I mean, it's getting closer, but it's not there yet. So I just want to make sure we're all the way there and done focusing on my shoulder and then we'll focus in on my hip and make sure that it goes well because I am getting just a, just a tiny bit of hip pain. I, I wouldn't even call it pain. It's just kind of a little bit of a discomfort or it's like I can feel it when I shouldn't you know it doesn't really hurt during training but afterwards I can kind of feel it just a little bit and I would pretty much already know it's just because on that on my right side where I feel that pain I, my glute just does not fire on that side not the way it should anyway and uh, it's just, <laughs> anytime I try to externally rotate and do anything I'm not feeling it where I should and it's just the movement patterns all messed up so that needs to be addressed and that's what we're gonna do after my shoulders fixed so that's kind of the long-term plan and that's kind of the beautiful thing about going through this period of slowly coming back and just, you know, not being too aggressive. If I can take this time to get myself fixed up and take my time to correct motor patterns and, you know, just really make sure that I have a long, successful training career and I, and I can do this forever. Because if I had just gone down the path that I was going down prior to my surgery, I would have just beat myself to a pulp and probably wouldn't have been able to do it very long and things would have only gotten worse. So. That's kind of the blessing in disguise there. Anyway, I think that's all I got for this one. And uh, hopefully, I'll, YouTube will probably pick back up here pretty soon. You know, I know I'm not bringing out a lot of tech content, and I apologize for that. You know, once things get a little more interesting with my training, that'll probably inspire me to do a little bit more stuff too, because there's just not a lot to talk about with my training right now, because it's just so basic and boring that just, there's just not much to talk about with voiceovers and all that. So that's why there hasn't been a whole lot. but. We'll get back on it. I apologize for the delay, but thanks for being patient with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving.